Well, you don't, you don't seem very bright, so I'll accept your proposal. Muchas gracias. I don't think there's any chance. Much okay, that's not, that's not even clever. She just said you're not bright. She's talking to a grandmaster who's beating her right now. I'm really curious to see how this is going to end, because she just called him stupid while playing him at a game he's better than her at, which is supposed to be her entire career. Some girls tend to think that being rude and crass is cool, makes them hotter, because they're, oh, they're being masculine, they're playing the same game as the men. Gotta maintain that boss queen energy that feminism mandates in order to combat the patriarchy. You see this trend in some girls, not with everyone, but with some girls that of course have been indoctrinated by feminism into thinking that the masculine patriarchy is oppressing them and holding them back and therefore any type of retribution that they can seek even in simple personal interactions is justified and actually desirable this often takes the form of needless cattiness or even blatant disrespect but i was taken aback by how rude Andrea Botez was at numerous points in this game. And in my opinion, it started to cross a line between normal trash talk and being a blatant admission that feminism requires her to be enraged and triggered at masculine competence. This is a theme that I talk about all the time on the channel. This is a trait that the leftist ideology also holds because they hold resentment for masculinity. I'm going to break down every aspect of this interaction and it's an added bonus that I happen to be decent at chess. Better than Andrea, which I won't even say is considered good because 1900, 2000, it's better than most players, but it's really nothing to brag about. Again, it is weird that Andrea plays chess like as her career and is only rated around that. Hello. Hola. Can I get the game? Of course. Muchas gracias. Good luck, mysterious Spanish man. Press the clock, please. Why well, you make the woman press the clock? No, I think why it is. So, okay, the first comment is an acknowledgement that is the acknowledgement that he should have been chivalrous. But really what she's upset with, or I should say subtly annoyed, is that he gave her a directive, start the clock. To a female psyche that's been stooped in feminism, this is already triggering because it is expecting her to adhere to a masculine framework, but also letting her know that he isn't, that he doesn't necessarily play by the expectations of the resentful feminist ideology, which says any form or manifestation of masculinity is toxic and oppressive and predatory. It's okay, I can show you the ropes. I am very new to this game, so please be nice to me, you know? I'm... So that's completely normal trash talk, by the way. Oh, you're, I'm new to this game, okay, I'll show you the ropes, fine. She probably knows that he's not completely new, because you can immediately tell the way someone moves the pieces if they've played at a chessboard before. If they've played at a chessboard, hundreds or thousands of games, you can also tell, just by the way they position themselves, the way they sit, everything. I can tell. To, again, Andrea's rating is about 1900 to 2000. Oh. Here as a... So he's significantly better than she is, to the point where if they played 100 games, he would win 99 of them. That's what you'd get when you have a 2400 playing a 2000. Now the interesting part is how does Andrea deal with masculine competence? What is, you actually prepped for this thing, no, you no, no, bastard. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, this is not- Oh ha ha, I'm just gonna call you a bastard for being good at the game that you're challenging me at. <laughs> oh my god, that's fine to call someone, right? In most parts of the world, it is actually still considered to be insulting to insult somebody. That's very difficult for the Western feminine psyche to understand because it requires rational thinking. But if, but if you look at his reaction, he's like, did this girl just call me a bastard? What? You're not supposed to be in the video, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he's like, oh, haha, I guess I'll just try to laugh this off. She just called me a bastard, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> you pray for this little bastard. Okay, I'm sure mm, I can be cute. You look very aggressive the, today. Is it the I'm sun always or? aggressive. Is this usually how you pick up ladies on the beach? Because you're not doing a very good job. No, 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 I'm very new to the, you know, the chess world and also the beach world. I'm just, maybe with, could make it more interesting, no? I mean, guessing we can play for a date, no? Play for a date. Yeah. You yeah, look okay. like a very interesting, like, chess player. Mm. Do I look you know. like I need a date? Are you saying no, that I look no, like I need a man? No, but I need one. You need a woman. Yeah. See, the degenerate feminine psyche is immediately enraged. She's responding to questions that weren't even asked because she is reminded that she probably does need a guy. Let's be honest. Single, neurotic, insulting people, discombobulated, chaotic. Classic feminist boss queen that is single. The good news for her is that she's super young. As a matter of fact, I think she's a year younger than I am, so she still has a lot of time to figure it out, but this is not a good path. She's either going to need a guy that is extremely masculine so that he can really put her in her place, or she's gonna find a simp. I think she'd probably find a simp because that's a lot easier than admitting to yourself that feminism has lied to you your entire life and you're not a boss queen for being rude, crass, and cosplaying as masculine. Whenever a woman acts masculine, it's the same thing as if a man were to act extremely feminine and flamboyant in front of women. They know it's fake, they know it's cringe. And men look at women trying to act serious and masculine the exact same way. It's, it's equally as fake. 
Not to mention unattractive. In the same way women find men, they're like, oh my God, yes, girl. Oh my God, I love that purse. And then turn around and they're like, why aren't you attracted to me? What, what's wrong? Why aren't you attracted to me? Because women don't find that attractive. Well, you don't you don't seem very bright, so I'll accept your proposal. Muchas gracias. I don't think there's any chance. Much okay, that's not, that's not even clever. She just said you're not bright. She's talking to a grandmaster who's beating her right now. I'm really curious to see how this is going to end because she just called him stupid while playing him at a game he's better than her at, which is supposed to be her entire career. You see the subtle demonization and subversion of masculine competence because it judges feminine degeneracy. The architecture of the feminist mind has no coherent model for masculine competence because competence is not a priority to Marxism and the resentment of leftism. Well, you don't you don't seem very bright, so I'll accept your proposal. Muchas gracias. I don't think there's any chance Muchas you can gracias. win. This guy's handling it really well. He's like, okay, this this girl is kind of weird. I don't know why she's insulting me after I've been nice to her, but he continues to be nice to her. So he's a true gentleman. No, but even if I lose, I mean. And even, like, who is really winning in this game? I mean, in this game, so far, nobody, but... This is a very passive opening. I can tell you just rolled off the beach and you don't really know what you're doing. I know. Oh, yeah, you're just a sand bum that just rolled off the beach in this multi-thousand dollar vacation spot where you're pulling a lot of women, which subtly enrages me. Also, I'm going to say you're not doing very well. Meanwhile, you're a grandmaster who's literally beating me at this game. <laughs> Aren't I cute? <laughs> I'm going to call you stupid now. I have to say, I maybe underestimated you. You look like, um... I know. Very oh, he's such a gentleman. He's such a gentleman. But obviously, maybe he's down bad. It, it could be anything, right? He should have been like, did you just call me stupid as I'm beating you at this game? Don't you play this game for your career? Because ultimately, even in relationships, women want to look up to the guy that they're with because they date up and across socioeconomic hierarchies. This is a studied psychological and anthropological fact. If a woman can't look up to the guy that she's with, then she can't respect him. And if she can't respect him, she can't even be attracted to him. I'm really curious to see how this game's gonna end. Whether she's going to manifest that inevitable respect for him being more competent than she is, or if she's going to resent it. I haven't gotten into this video, so I don't know how it's going to end. There's no. gotta be one. I know I'm not very, you know, good at, you know, making you uh, interested in me. But anyway, <laughs> I don't need it because I'm going to win, you know? <laughs> That's true, the chess speaks for itself. Of hey, you seem not. like you'd be a, a Hans Very interesting fan. character. Oh, Hans, yes. Yes. Oh, haha, you remind me of, of a guy who would be a fan of someone who's accused of cheating at the game. <laughs> oh, Hans, yes. Yes. Who's now your um, favorite female chess player since you're such a advocate? Um, oh, there must be DEI quotas <laughs> since you follow chess players, even though you don't. I just made that up in my head. In this false dichotomy I created to demonize you and your masculinity, I'm going to frame that against another construct I made up in my head to demonize you and say, <laughs> do you know any female chess players? Because men and women are equally good at chess, right? If you don't accept that, then I can't go on a date with you because you're not a part of the liberal hi-fi which grants virtue and status and allows me to feel secure in my denial of reality oh it turns out women aren't equally good at chess because when you account for the ratio of women to men in chess and then you apply that to the average difference in rating it still doesn't cover the gap to the radical feminist watching who didn't understand what i just said that's because you're worse at chess women's chess well i mean there is um there is a woman I really like, you know, watching our games. I don't know if New York, you know her. Yeah. She's named Alexandra Butes. Ah, no, I never heard of her. Okay, dude, that's funny. He's still trying to make small talk with her. That's cool. He's being friendly, even though she, every single comment she's made has basically been rude. You're running low on the clock. I mean, you're, I mean, I feel, I feel bad you're being for distracted. You. you have to focus. Okay, you're right. Okay, no more time mods for you. No. She tries to suggest that he has time mods, that she's giving him the advantage. She still doesn't know that this guy's significantly better than she is somehow hopefully he corrects her and says you didn't get time odds we have equal amounts of time you're just worse at the game so she just attempted to lie about what's going on I mean, there are no time odds it's just a fair game there it is okay yeah, exactly. check it's just <laughs> just straight up correcting actually there are no time odds this is just a fair game you didn't get any time odds what are you talking about you're making things up now lose gracefully just kidding that's not possible oh i didn't think you knew what those were yeah i've been learning Oh yeah, uh, I didn't think you knew what checks were. Bro, this is getting worse and worse. Practicing. Mm, how, how are you studying chess? How uh, are you learning? Watching, watching streams mostly. Ah, by you, Alexandra, right? You, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is called En Passant. I don't know if you I didn't know about it, this one, but... It, it tends to work. No. Okay, actually, I'm very happy with my position. It, it oh, it's so, so cringe to see a young woman who is clearly possessed by feminism talk painfully down to a man who is so much more confident than her. It's an admission of how unable to accept masculine competence. Like you're saying, he doesn't know what en passant is. Are you serious? He's outplaying you, clearly better than you, and you're still going to insult him. This is what I mean when I say, the feminist psyche will humiliate itself endlessly, will spite the own nose on its face, 
to compete against men in the masculine hierarchies with no regard for the fact that they're being humiliated just so that they can call themselves victims afterwards and so they can at least tell themselves at least I was a boss queen at least I tried to compete with him in his domain I got destroyed but that was just oppression it's a really dangerous positive feedback loop her position is pretty bad by the way doubled pawns her bishops on c4 is inactive black is significantly better here okay actually I'm very happy with my position yeah do you like your bishop on c4 I don't worry It'll so Reality denial, because her position is bad. Oh, I also forgot to mention the pawns in front of her king are in a bad spot too. So add that to the list of ways her position is bad. She just said she liked it. So yeah, more feminine reality denial. It has a new life on another diagonal. Okay. <laughs> this is what this is what women playing chess is like. I wonder if this is what they say in their heads all the time. Just the opposite of reality constantly. This is called a good pawn structure with black. Okay, if you want to be a real gentleman, you don't take my pawn. She's called him stupid. Now, if you want to be a real gentleman, you won't punish me for my mistakes and hold me accountable in this game that is literally reflective of masculine competence. And then he just looks at the camera. Bro, we feel your pain, dude. Women think they're entitled to masculine chivalry after being nothing but completely awful to you repeatedly. Like, oh my God, you're not going to hold the door for me? Babe, you just went on a rant about the wage gap for 55 minutes. Told me about how you earn more money than me and how you're a boss queen. I think... I thought you just want to open the door yourself. Oh my God, are you, you're just so toxic, aren't you? You're holding me to my own standards. That's just oppression. What the hell? You know what? I think I'm just going to leave you because you beat me at chess regularly. And really, that's not chivalrous anyway. I have no problem with female nature. What's deeply unfortunate is the way feminism has taught women to resent masculinity, which evolutionarily has evolved as the answer to the shortcomings of femininity, just as femininity has evolved to overcome the shortcomings of masculinity. Otherwise... <laughs> wow. Terrible manners. Who taught yeah. you? Oh my god. You, dude, this is nuts. She just accused him of having terrible manners and she's called him stupid. She called him a bastard within 30 seconds of him sitting down at the board. She's been rude to him. She's lied about the game. She, uh, she pretended as though she gave him time odds when she didn't give him time odds. She called him bad at chess when he's a grandmaster and she's ranked 2000. Bro, women do not want to live in reality. This is why you're getting no dates. This is why you're getting no dates. You're beating me at this game that requires objective competence. Does she even hear the words coming out of her own mouth? I guarantee you, she won't ever even think critically about what I'm saying until she's past the wall, doesn't have kids, and doesn't have a man she respects. She's gonna, she can get with a simp. It is what it is. She will get with a simp. She'll become unhappy. But women never truly take on the frame of accountability until they face the consequences of their actions. Men, because we can use reason and rationality, don't have to learn solely through consequences. We can learn through looking at the proverbial chess board and say, okay, this is where I'm making a mistake. I should change this because we have to live in reality. We have to build civilization. We have to make the world. We don't have the luxury of being like, oh my God, yeah, if you're chivalrous, you'll let me win at this. We have to perform. Bro, it's so crazy that she, her career is chess and she's ranked and she's rated only like 2,000. That's ridiculous. I play chess like once every six months and I'm ranked like 1950. Because I take pawns, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we'll take pieces now then. What a good piece. No mercy, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. You're very good at dodging my questions. Yeah, I'm still thinking, you know? That's why you, you, oh, you're so trying you're to play the distracting while you're game now. Playing chess. Sorry? <laughs> you're actually thinking while you're playing chess. I thought you were just talking. I'm trying to do both, you know? You struggle to multitask. I mean. <laughs> Dude! 2,000 ring player asking GM, do you struggle to multitask while losing in a chess game? You see how women aren't cut out for this type of competent domain? They, that doesn't keep them from trying to act like they are cut out for it. This is the reason why men find this cringe. If you don't understand why men find this cringe, I mean, I don't know what to say. So, um, I mean, I'm trying to be nice. Maybe you should take a sip. You're on vacation. Please, take your time. I mean, uh, this... Very good. I don't need Bro, this. Bro, are you kidding? Oh my god, my sister's losing. No, the boss queen energy's at stake. Quickly, let's steal his pieces and cheat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, good. Now time for thoughts. Okay. That was really romantic. Wait, they're actually gonna play on like that? Drop a sandal over it yourself. What? <laughs> He's gonna play on without a piece. He just lost a piece to <laughs> feminist standards, bro. What is this? This is a new iteration of chess here. Oh my gosh, a UFCF. You better get on this, bro. 
This is a new type of rule that we just got invented. It's called the, the, the boss queen move. It's where you get one of your girlfriends to run by and take a piece. If he's a man and he's beating you, oh, that's unacceptable, queen. Better than for Magnus Carlsen. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> he's actually gonna plan without a piece. This is nuts, dude. He, if he wins, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> My knight, you know, knight on the Alex, game. you took the wrong piece. Yeah, you, you have to take my queen. Holds up wrinkly, aging thumb, red painted nail with the knight. Ah, look, I have it. Ah. But then it will not be very We sack. I mean, I'm not taking your knight, you know? Okay, maybe I will. I will attack it. Okay, well, it was a valiant attempt. But you're making um, someone happy, you know? I have a feeling you're not actually so bad at this game. Can you figure that out? Yeah, this is a boat gambit. Oh, uh, we don't have a Ah, uh, you don't have much time. Mm. I thought maybe with increment. But okay, my knight is hanging and everything is hanging. Okay. I mean, your knight is like, okay. yeah, not in very good shape. Okay, now that we... That was a good game. Good game. Keep Which into the Bro, he still... He beat her without... Oh my gosh. Okay, do they show how this ends? They have another nine seconds in the video. Will she make up for her constant disrespect in the remaining nine seconds? Will they even go on the date? Honestly, King, you shouldn't go on this date. Trenches now, and the, there's our date in the middle of the ocean. Okay, I'll we'll take you there. Are many over there. Boats as well, so we yeah. can, we Do you know can how to swim? Far. I know how to swim, and I know how to drive a boat. It's so interesting to see the feminine ethos constantly manifest itself in the culture, reminding everybody that it is overtly anti-masculine confidence. Most feminists spend their time complaining about men who are objectively impressive. We saw this really take off with Andrew Tate. Uh, now it's just getting progressively more painful for feminism. There are guys that are posting on X daily about how they're rich, in shape, driving fast cars, exercising their sexual marketplace options against women to get what they want. Because men at the top of the hierarchies in society wield all of the dating leverage against women because all women want them. Or when I say all, I'm talking about 95 plus percent. And so it is exactly men that they criticize, like Andrew Tate, who are competent. Doesn't matter what domain they're competent in. Those exact men that feminists like to attack are the ones that are holding them accountable. So it doesn't really get more brutal than that, except that they're also teaching other men to do the same. So while feminists are only losing, competent men are only winning and gaining leverage over those same women. This is the death spiral of resentment that feminism holds. And it's the reason why the resentment is the exact same resentment Marxism holds for coherent objective frameworks in its alignment with postmodernism. Because if you are a postmodern neo-Marxist, then you think that there are no better and worse ways of interpreting reality. You think that there's no such thing as an individual identity, which is part of postmodernism, but lends itself well to Marxism when Marxism says, in order to be a good person, you must be a part of the right class, or in the 21st century transposed version, the right group, whether that be race, sexual identity, etc. A lot of people are confused when I talk about Marxism, they think I'm making some sort of surface level comparison, but actually the description is as deep as it gets. Resentment, regardless if it's held by feminism for masculinity or by losers for alpha masculine billionaire winners in real estate, let's say, the resentment is the same. The resentment for that which is objective and judges them for their inadequacy, reminding them that they exist as individuals and are beholden not to the dictates of an ideology claiming to make them good people or virtuous and coherent, but to a reality which offers comprehensible aspects which are objective and realizable, which is actually the case, of course. And this is what men understand. This is what the men understand, even subconsciously, that are bettering themselves, bettering themselves constantly by listening to Andy or other impressive men like Elon Musk. Elon Musk, through his competence, doesn't build rockets that work because of his adherence to an ideology. He builds rockets at work because of his adherence to objective reality. Feminists think they're good people, not because objective reality tells them so. Because everything she, this woman said was the opposite of the truth throughout this game. It was literally the opposite of the truth. This guy was being nice. He was better than her. He didn't have time odds. His position was better than hers throughout the entire game. But that didn't matter because reality is not a priority when you're adhering to the architecture of resentment. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you leave any low IQ comments that are just like ad homonyms, you know, the YouTube algorithm is going to remove it. So if you're a deranged feminist, at least go through the mental effort to like spell words correctly, etc. Try to make an argument. I might spend some of my time to, to educate you if you're lucky. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And thanks for watching.